Hello, in this video we're going to talk about some tips and tricks for working with our coaxial tubing. You'll find this coaxial tubing on many of our pump-based systems including cool lubricators, servo sprays, quantums, and more. These tips and tricks will apply to both the MV and standard style pumps. A typical coaxial construction consists of a 3 8 inch OD tubing and an 8 inch capillary tubing. The 8 inch capillary tubing carries the fluid from the pump while the 3 8 carries the air from the pump. These are both carried separately to the nozzle where they are combined at or near the tip. It may be necessary to work with your coaxial tubing if you have to rebuild a pump or service your system for any other reason. To remove the coaxial tubing from the pump, begin by unscrewing the push-in fitting from the pump body. Pull the 3 8 hose back to expose the 8th inch capillary line. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, firmly grasp the 8th inch capillary and pull it off of the outlet check valve housing barb. Carefully inspect the outlet check valve housing barb to make sure no remnants of the 8th inch capillary are still on it. Next, remove the push-in fitting from the 3 8 line by pushing in the release ring and pulling it off. When removing the coaxial tubing from the pump, do not try to use a knife to cut the 8th inch capillary from the barb. Doing so could very well damage the brass barb on the outlet check valve housing and when you go to reinstall the capillary tube you will not get a good seal and this will cause leaking nozzles, dripping and other performance issues. Also avoid grabbing onto the barb with your needle nose pliers. It's very easy to pinch off the outlet check valve housing completely and you will not get any fluid out of the pump. With the hoses removed from the pump, you can then begin to work with the coaxial tubing. First begin by trimming back the capillary line. We always recommend trimming the capillary back to a clean section of tubing so you get a good seal on the outlet check valve housing when you reinstall it. After doing that, you may find that it's necessary to trim back the 3 8 tube as well. It may be tempting to try to carefully cut the 3 8 tube back with the capillary still in place. We do not recommend this at all. It's very easy to nick the 8th inch capillary tubing, which can lead to other performance issues such as leaking or dripping nozzles or inconsistent performance. Instead, we recommend inserting a tool into the 3 8 tube and pushing the capillary back in, and then cutting right along where the tool is inserted. This ensures that you won't nick or damage the 8th inch capillary line at all. It may be necessary to pull the 8th inch capillary line out because it may be inside of the 3 8 tube and you can't reach it. Once you have that back out, reinstall the push-in fitting onto the 3 8 tube. Next, Take the capillary line and insert it over the barb on the outlet check valve housing. Ensure that it goes all the way onto the outlet check valve housing. Next, you can reinstall the push-in fitting onto the pump body. Please note that there may be two different style push-in fittings on your pump. One style may have a green or silver release ring. The other may have a black release ring. The green or silver push-in fitting will have regular pipe thread fittings on. This will require more torque and also sealant on the threads to seal it properly against the pump body. The fitting with the black release ring has straight threads and an O-ring seal. We normally recommend tightening that down finger tight and then maybe an additional 20 to 30 degrees to get a proper seal against the pump body. These have been some of the tips and tricks of working with our coaxial tubing. If you have further questions, please contact us.